Tom took about three and a half years to make and with a running time of just under one hour that works out at about 200 hours of making per minute of screen time and the reason that it took so long was because in a lot of ways it's a really unusual mixture of physical and digital creation. My background is as a choreographer and a filmmaker and when I began making Tom I wanted the camera and the environments to be as much a choreographic element as the people that you see on the screen. Trying to bring out the inert choreographies of, of landscape and architecture within the world was a central aim, so making the world in 3D was really the only way that I could reproduce this. To reproduce flying cameras and majestic landscapes in the way that they're portrayed in Tom would have been technically impossible and really beyond the budget that we had at best. But because the world that the audience is invited into in Tom is a sort of metaphorical world that exists inside the, the head of the main character, it needed to have a sense of the human touch and the imperfect. And I decided that the only way I could really achieve this would be to physically create the scenes as miniature models, sort of handmade dioramas. And because they're made in this way as physical creations, constructed from memory with all the imperfections of the, the human mind and the, the human touch to build them. They sort of belong in the world of Tom, which is a sort of memory world reconstructed by the human hand. In the end, about 80% of the environments on screen are made in this way, and to make the various models took about 10 months. Using tutorials that I found on the internet, I was able to make all the different places that I imagined from the sort of end-of-world-esque wilderness environments that I've remembered from trips to the Outer Hebrides when I was younger and to the sort of more urban vignettes that are sort of representative of a sort of oppressive, lonely metropolis that remind me of um, London where I live now. And once I had these models, I used a technology called photogrammetry to take the physical models and bring them into the digital world. And, essentially it involves taking thousands of photos of models from all different angles so that they can then be recreated digitally in the computer as 3D objects and working with such small objects where the, the small details and the imperfections of the models were such an important aspect of them it took over a quarter of a million images for the whole project to uh, remesh these in the computer and it took over a year of continuous processing for all of those photographs to be generated into the 3D models.